All right, everyone, ready to dive into something interesting? Always. So we're talking about real estate, right? <laughs> but kind of flipping the script on who actually has an advantage getting started. Yeah, this video we're digging into today, it's kind of provocative, you know? Makes you think about those real-world skills differently. Exactly. Title's a mouthful. Using life experience to your advantage. Real estate investing for women over 40. Catchy. But it gets right to the point. And I think a lot of people, especially women who are maybe thinking about a second career, they're going to resonate with this message. Totally. It starts by acknowledging, look, real estate's not for the faint of heart, right? Yeah. It can be tough. There are ups and downs. Right. Not afraid to say it like it is. But, and here's where the over 40 thing comes. And the video argues that by that point in your life, you've probably gained some serious resilience. Oh, absolutely. Think about it. Life has a way of throwing curveballs. No kidding. Especially if you're juggling, what, a career, maybe a family? The car breaking down when the basement's flooding, am I right? Ugh, the worst. Exactly. But I you know what? You figure it out. You adapt. You learn to prioritize, find solutions. You get creative, right? Yes. And that, that right there is the same grit you need in real estate. Dealing with a market that's all over the place, negotiations, those surprise repairs that pop up. Which always seem to happen at the worst possible moment. Yeah. So it's like you're not just learning how to weather the storm, but how to rebuild after maybe even help someone else rebuild theirs. And that's where the experience of, say, raising kids or managing a team at work, it translates. You're used to wearing multiple hats, making tough decisions. Right. You've already had the trial by fire, so to speak. Exactly. The video also talks about networking and how, for women especially, it's not about some stuffy exclusive thing. Yeah, not about those awkward cocktail parties. It's I the connections it. you've built organically over the years, right? From your kids' school to that side hustle you had going for a while. Volunteering, even just knowing your neighbors. Exactly. You've got a network probably bigger than you realize. And chances are someone in that network knows a realtor, a contractor, a potential buyer. Or has a cousin who's a plumber. It's all about who you know, right? It really is. And something else this video hit on that I thought was really smart. How many of us women over 40, we've been managing a household budget, making financial decisions for years. Way longer than some of these, you know, 20 something investors that have even been alive probably. Right. And that experience, that's gold. Recognizing a good deal, understanding the true value of something, that comes from years of practice. You've been unknowingly training for this. Love that it's like you already have the financial instincts, maybe you just need to apply them to a different playing field. Exactly. So it's not just about age, it's that toolkit of skills you pick up along the way. It's about reframing, right? That life experience isn't something to downplay, it's an asset. It's like your superpower. And for anyone listening who's maybe doubting themselves, thinking, oh, I could never do that. Think again. Think about what you're already good at. Maybe you're a master negotiator because you spent the last decade wrangling toddlers. Or you're incredibly organized from juggling multiple projects at work. Those are invaluable skills. So true. Don't underestimate yourself. So to wrap things up, here's a little something to ponder. What seemingly unrelated skill or experience from your past could actually be your secret weapon in real estate? Think about it. You might be surprised.